right guys, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures and today I'm bringing you my sales update for eBay for the month of January 2017. So I had about 55 sales totaling $1,478.57. Um, so I had a good month, but keep in mind that does not include uh, the shipping taken out, the PayPal and eBay fees and stuff like that. So let's get started. Okay, let me move things around. I know, you would think I would be used to this by now, but I'm not. Okay, let me pull me back in. Okay, so the first item that sold is this Abercrombie and Fitch book. Now, I probably picked this up for, I think it was about $1.99, and it sold for $39.99. I received a best offer, uh, and also charged $3.95 shipping. Why do I keep disappearing? Okay. The next item is actually, it's an audiobook on cassette tape. Now I paid 99 cents for this and I received a best offer for 99 cents and it shipped for free. Next item is a super fun, colorful snapback hat. This hat I paid 50 cents for at the thrift store and I received a best offer for $19.99. So that was a nice little flip on that one. Next one is a Christmas stocking. This actually sold after Christmas. So um, I received a best offer for $20. So I accepted that plus $5.95 shipping. It was nice not to worry about having to hold on, hold on to this for a whole nother year. So I was happy to see that go. Next item is a vintage Jerry Ornate Cameo uh, Couple Courting gold tone brooch pendant. So it's a brooch, but it's also a pendant. Let me show you the back. So see the back, the back side, it has a, you know, you can wear it as a, oh, that's a little blurry, isn't it? You can wear it as a pen, a, blah, blah, a brooch, or you see that little hook up there, you can wear it as a necklace too. So it's a pendant and a brooch. Um, so this, I received a best offer for $19.99. And it shipped for two dollars and wait, no, that's how much I paid for it. I paid two dollars and ninety nine cents for this, and it shipped for three ninety five first class. Oh my goodness, I'm all tongue twisted and tied today. <laughs> the next item is a workbook, the PCOS workbook, your guide to complete physical and emotional health workbook. Um, this was in like new condition, and I picked it up for a dollar ninety nine. And I received a best offer for $15.99 plus $3.95 shipping. Next item is a Christmas Starbucks mug from 2010. Now I'd had this mug for quite a while. Um, I paid about a dollar for this and I received a best offer for $19.99. And... Um, plus $8.95 shipping because as you guys know the coffee mugs can actually get pretty expensive to ship so I always charge shipping on coffee mugs. Next item is an audiobook. I probably paid less than a dollar for this book and it sold for, I received a best offer for $13 so I accepted that plus $3.95 shipping. This is just a fun item. It is a, um, what do you call that thing? A leprechaun. <laughs> I was drawing a blank. So this is a St. Patrick's Day leprechaun throw pillow. Um, and it's vintage. You can tell by looking at it. It's just super cute. I loved it. I had to take it home with me. Um, so I believe I paid about $2.99 for this. And it sold for $22.99. I received a best offer. And um, I'm having fun selling pillows. I'm hoping to make a video on all the pillows I've sold soon. So I can share that with you guys. Um, let's see. Next item is a Chilton Ford Pickups Manual. 
for 2004-2006. Um, this book I paid 99 cents for and I received a best offer for $15 so I accepted that and it shipped for free via media mail. Okay guys, next item is in another audiobook by Christopher Paolini. It is um, the name of the book, I don't even know how you say this, Brissinger? I have no idea. But I bought it for less than a dollar. I received a best offer for $15.99, so I accepted that, plus $3.95 shipping. <laughs> Next item is a tablecloth. Now, whenever I bought this, uh, I paid $5.99 for it. I actually thought I was going to get a little bit more for it than what I did. I'd had it for a while. I received a best offer for $23, so I accepted that, and it did ship for free. Next item is a book, Uchi by Tyson Cole. This book I paid a $1.99 for her and I received a best offer for $15.99 and it's shipped for free. Next item is a super fun hat. Uh, this hat I'd had, gosh I'm not even kidding, for, probably for two years. Had it for a very long time and um, I received a best offer for $16.05 so I accepted that and in uh, $3.95 shipping. Let me find, hang on one second. I was going to model the hat for you, but I can't find where I am. Let me minimize this. Okay, here I am. So this is the hat. She already returned it. Um, it's actually by Mr. Song, Creative Classic. So, but she said it was too small for her head. <laughs> like, it doesn't even look right on my head. Maybe it is a child. Maybe it's a child size or something. I don't know, but it just looks kind of crooked. <laughs> but uh, I am not going to be relisting this on eBay. I am going to put this in my antique booth. I'm tired of looking at it. I'm tired of messing with it. So I'll probably put $10 on it in my antique booth to try and move it fast. Okay, let me pull my stuff back up. Okay, next item is a pink camouflage NRA uh, hat, National Rifle Association. I paid $1.99 for this hat, and let's see, I received a best offer for $15.99, so I accepted that, plus $3.95 shipping. Next item is another audiobook. I paid less than a dollar for this audiobook, and um, it sold for $7.99 plus free shipping. This is something I probably wouldn't uh, list again. Um, you know, I didn't really make a ton of money on that, and it took time to list it. So I'm trying to list items that cost a little bit more um, from here on out. Next item is a 2005 Inesco Jim Shore Heartwood Creek Evangeline cat figure. I paid $2 for this at a garage sale, and I received a best offer for $12, so I accepted that and charged $8.75 priority mail shipping. Next item is a DVD. It was brand new sealed. I paid, I think I paid a dollar for this and I received a best offer for $10.39. So I accepted that uh, plus free shipping. Oh my goodness, this was a good sale. 2005 Harley Davidson Touring Models Service Shop Repair Workshop Manual Book. This, um, I think at the time I was running a sale in my store, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure why it's not showing up on the screen, but uh, it sold for $71.99 plus $3.95 shipping. Oh, and I probably paid $1.99 for this book, so that was a really good profit. Next item is a Cincy Plush Buddy Wellington the Duck. It was new in the box with the tags. I uh, had it listed for $49.99 and I received a best offer for $30, so I accepted that. I bought this with a whole bunch of other Cincy stuff at a garage sale um, several weeks ago and they've they've almost all sold. I think I have one more left and I cross-posted them all on Amazon as well, so 
I sold about half of them on Amazon and about half on eBay. So, and they all sold really quick. So if you guys ever see these uh, Scentsy Buddies, pick them up because uh, they sell pretty good. Okay, guys, the next item is a men's Ralph Lauren vintage blue denim long sleeve shirt size extra large with the little red pony on it. I believe I paid about $5.99 for this shirt and received a best offer for $20. So I accepted that plus $6.95 uh, priority mail shipping. Next item is a book. Whenever I bought this book, it had a crazy sales rank, like, I don't know, maybe 12 million or something. So it would probably never sell on Amazon. So I thought, let me uh, pop it up on eBay and see what happens. Um, and I listed it high just for fun to see what would happen. And it had been up for a while. Somebody sent a best offer for $20. So I accepted that plus $3.95 shipping. The name of the book is called Guidelines for Air Medical Crew education aviation book the next item is a really pretty little um, hair clip beautiful green butterfly hair claw clip accessory barrette clamp gotta get those keywords in <laughs> um, I believe I bought this I found it in a jewelry jar so I probably paid less than a quarter for this and I received a best offer for $11.99 so I accepted that plus $3.49 first class shipping. Next item is a Bible. I always pick up the Bibles whenever I see them, if they're good, uh, good quality and they're in good condition. This one here is called the Catholic Prayer Bible. And I paid $1.99 for this book and it sold for $31.99 plus free shipping. I think I was running a sale uh, on books last month. I think I did a 20% off sale. Next item, this might be my last pair. Uh, I had bought about five or six pair of these ma'am earrings, and I didn't even know what they were until I saw them. Um, but they were all half off. I paid $3.49 per pair, and they've all sold for really good money. Uh, pretty quick, too. So I received a best offer for $18 on this one. So I accepted that, plus uh, $3.95 for first class shipping. Next item is a book. It's called Beyond Diet, The Complete Guidebook by Isabel de Lo Rios. And uh, this book, uh, I must have received a best offer for $39.99, so I accept that plus free shipping. However, this was an international sale, and the guy still has not paid. So I don't know what's going on. I might be relisting this, but... Anytime I see her books, guys, I always pick them up because they can be worth um, a lot of money. And her books are not going to have the ISBN barcode on the back either. Uh, but I would just go ahead and pick those up anyway. Next item, this is another one of those items I would probably never uh, buy again. It didn't sell for that much profit. It sold for uh, $5.59. I was running a sale and um, charged $3.95 shipping. It's a Maxwell Professional Quality 8mm Video Cassette XR Metal uh, uh, set of two tapes. And I don't remember if I said, but I probably paid about a dollar for that. Uh, the next item is uh, by Joel Osteen. It was brand new sealed. Seeds of Greatness are in you. Uh, this again was on sale. I got a lot of uh, sales because I was running a sale in my store. So I highly encourage you guys to run sales in your store. I usually always have a, some kind of a sale going on. Um, I paid $2.99 for this and it sold for $11.99 and I did free shipping. Now, I do not recommend picking up Joel Osteen. Um, his stuff used to sell really well for me, but now it seems as though the market's become just totally saturated. Um, and as a matter of fact, I have some stuff coming back from FBA of Joel Osteen's and lotted with some stuff that I have individually listed on eBay right now. I'm going to just combine it all in one big lot and get rid of it. Uh, my friend April from the Reseller's Learning Curve, she recently did that and she had a really good score. I want to say they sold for like $80 or something. So it was, I remember thinking, wow, that's a good profit. So I'm probably just going to, you know, hurry up and try and get them out of here instead of waiting 
forever for them to sell individually. Um, the next item was a little retail arbitrage experiment. I had gone down to the outlet mall and stopped in the Disney store. I picked up these. Uh, they are brand new, of course. I believe I paid about $5.50 for these on sale, and I received a best offer for $15. So I accepted that, plus free shipping. And the next item is a women's Jess and Jane casual blouse shirt top plus size 2X. I paid $3 for this and I received a best offer for $19.99. So I accepted that plus $3.95 shipping in it and it was uh, mailed first class. Okay guys, uh, the next item here, this is a vintage 1972 gold bronze Austin Productions sculpture, mother and child. This I purchased for $2.99. I did a ton of research on this item, which is why I decided to price it high at $174.99. And I received a best offer for $100, so I happily accepted that. The person actually paid and everything, and then they sent me a message like eight hours later saying that they bought the wrong one and that, um, you know, they wanted to cancel the transaction. So that was a real bummer for me. I was so excited about the sale. I told everybody, but um, I put it back up and I'm hoping it will sell eventually. Um, let me show you a close up of the, the name on the sculpture. Oh, wait, it's probably this way. There it is right there. Austin Prod. So Austin Productions, and if you guys ever see these out in the wild, I suggest you go ahead and pick them up because chances are somebody's collecting them and they just might want the one that you have available. The next item is a super cute little bee sculpture, vintage bumblebee metal sculpture on wood base. I paid $2.99 for this and I kept it for a while for myself. Then I decided to list it and let's see, what did it sell for? I received a best offer for $23.99. And it shipped for free. The next item is a book, Introduction to Nutrition and Metabolism by David Bender. This book I paid $1.99 for and it sold for $19.95 with free shipping. And I shipped this medium L. Next item is a pair of women's Salvatore Ferragamo brown suede heels, size 8. 4A narrow. So that was super, super like quadruple narrow shoes. I can't believe they sold and somebody, um, you know, I mean, I'm glad that somebody uh, can wear them and needed them. So I paid $5.99 for those and they sold for $31.97. Real pretty shoes and really good condition too. So let's see if there's a close up of the brand name so you can see it. So let's see, right there, Salvatore, I don't know, I might be saying that wrong, guys, Salvatore Ferragamo. But this is always a good brand to pick up if you see it and it's not too expensive, I would always pick those up. The next item is a Scentsy Warmer Autism Speaks piece by piece in sage green blue. And this I bought at a garage sale for $4 and I was running a sale and it sold for $39.99 plus $8.95 for priority mail shipping. The next one is another one of those Chilton's Ford Super Duty Pickup uh, Repair Manual books. Uh, this book I paid $0.99 cents for and it sold for $11.99. And I shipped that via media mail. This is a fun item. This is a necklace by Mary DeMarco. Seahorse Mermaid Class Silver Tone Necklace. This I actually bought at a garage sale for a dollar and I received a best offer for $20 so I accepted that and it shipped for free so it went first class. Now this brand, uh, this lady uh, Mary DeMarco, I had never even heard of this before. That's the great thing about reselling. You're constantly learning new stuff. It's so much fun. I love it. So if you guys see any of uh, Mary DeMarco's stuff, I would pick it up. It seems to be pretty collectible. 
The next item is an unmarked pair of gorgeous vintage big silver tone burst cascade clip earrings. Um, these I think I paid $1.99 for and they sold for $10.39 plus $3.95 first class shipping. The next item is a um, DVD. It was brand new sealed Inside Sports Fishing Television Baja 2 Sea of Dreams DVD. Now this one I had paid, I paid $1.99 for this and was running a sale so it sold for $31.99 um, plus $3.95 for first class shipping. Now I bought a ton of these. I've got them all individually listed in my eBay store so I'm hoping a sport fisherman comes along and has to have them all. <laughs> So hopefully those will eventually all sell, but this was the first one I sold. So I probably made my money back uh, just uh, by selling the first one. So anything from here on out will hopefully just be profit. Next item is something I've had for quite a while. It is an audiobook, The Missing Secret by Joe, by Dr. Joe Vitale. Uh, this is seven CDs and one DVD. So this, I believe, I paid uh, $2.99 for, and it actually sold for $39.99 plus uh, $3.65 for uh, media mail shipping. This, this guy, he's uh, real big in, I believe, he's real big into The Secret uh, by Rhonda Byrne. As am I. I'm a big believer in the law of attraction and all of that stuff. So, um, and you know, what you put out into the universe, you know, is what you get back. Um, so anyway, the book, it sold, like I said, for $39.99, so that was a really good sell. I was happy with that. Okay, guys, the next item is a necklace. I paid about, I think I paid about $6.80 for this. It says, um, the title reads, Argentino Viva 18 Carat Gold Plated Sterling uh, CZ Heart Locket Pendant Necklace. This was a little retail arbitrage experiment, and um, it paid off, so um, it sold for $39.99, so there's a good bit of profit there. I'm hoping to bring you guys a video on retail arbitrage soon, and um, so that if you're not familiar with that, I'll help, help you learn some more about that. So the next item is a book. I had this for a while. I paid about $1.99 for this book. And I received a best offer for $27.95. Or that might have been on sale. I think that was on sale. So um, still really good profit. $349 medium L shipping. The next item is a pair of women's Sam Edelman Romy. Romy is the name of the shoe. Black patent platform cork thong sandals size 8. These shoes I paid about $5.99 for these I think. And um, I received a best offer for... $27.99 and they shipped free priority mail shipping. The next item is uh, the title reads Super Cute Vine Street Market Large Canvas Tote Bag Black Heart Black Red Hearts. This purse I paid $2.99 for, and y'all, I'm not even kidding, like within five minutes of listing it, it's sold. That's such a cool feeling when that happens. Um, so if you guys see Vine Street Market purses out there, pick them up. They're gonna sell fast. The next item is a DVD. I paid $1.99 for this and I received a best offer for $10, so I accepted that, plus $2.95 for first class shipping. Next item is a Mighty Sam McLean featuring Wayne Bennett Live in Japan music CD. I paid $3 for this CD and I received a best offer for $20 and I accepted that. It was an international sale, so I was happy with that. The next item is a Vera Bradley purse. This purse, I believe I paid about $5.99 for this, and I received a best offer for $15, so I accepted that. What I'm finding is Vera Bradley really doesn't sell for very much money, I guess unless you have a really collectible and desirable print. Um, so I'm probably not even going to waste my time picking up Vera Bradley anymore. I mean, I know I just picked up like a notebook, laptop, uh, little bag this weekend at a garage sale for $5, but... Um, that, I think that was going to be it. I'm not going to pick up any more Vera Bradley. The next item I also picked up at a garage sale Saturday morning. I paid $2 for this and it sold for $19.99 with free shipping. It weighed a lot more than I thought, so I ended up having to ship this priority mail. 
So I really probably only made about, you know, $10 profit after all is said and done, give or take a little there. Okay guys, last five items. Here is a uh, Betsy Johnson black and gold flower cross necklace with an antique finish. This I paid, uh, I believe about $2 at a garage sale and I received a best offer for $14 so I accepted that plus $2.95 shipping. The next item is a CD. I paid $3 for this and it sold for $24.99 with free first class shipping. And the next item, this is some of that retail arbitrage I was telling you all about. Um, this is the Linux Birds Chirp Quilted Reversible Table Placemats, a set of six of them, brand new, sealed. They sold for $59.99 plus $8.95 priority mail shipping. These I paid about $1.60 each, so that was a pretty good little profit. Of course, anytime I do retail arbitrage, always go on eBay and make sure that the item is actually selling before I go ahead and bite the bullet and make the purchase. Um, but like I said, I'm hoping to be uh, bringing you guys a video on retail arbitrage soon. <laughs> the next item is an Alex and Annie initial K letter expandable charm bracelet, um, energy Russian gold. This I paid $2.99 for and it sold for $24.99 plus $3.95 um, first class shipping. So let me just show you a close up of this one. It has a different little charms on it. So um, I would say if you see Alex and Annie, I would definitely pick it up. The last item, I thought these were just neat. Like I said, sometimes my eye is just drawn to things. And so these are really neat. They're red pants uh, with black lines. So they're pinstriped. Let's see. And they got these cute little skeleton, like little skeleton cat looking animal on the back pockets. So, um, so the title reads Women's Skeletons, Skele Animals by Trip Pants, <clears throat> red and black, size 15. Let me see if there's a close up at the label. I'll show it to you. So here's the label. So anytime you guys see these, I would pick them up. They're really fun. And when I checked the soles before I listed them, there um, really wasn't that many of them listed. So I'm thinking maybe I should have gone higher. And they sold pretty quick. They sold within probably three days of me listing. They sold. Um, so I can't remember if I said I only paid about $3 for these and uh, sold for $29.99. So guys, that is my eBay sales update for the month of January 2017. If you guys like the video, please give me um, a like and um, subscribe if you haven't already and share the video with your friends and we will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.